Montgomery here in Portland at Waterfront Park for the 2014 AT&T MLS All-Star Game. As you can see, there is a huge crowd behind me because coming up in just a few minutes is the Flaming Lips. They are headlining the day and a lot of fans came out to see them. So we're going to talk to some of these people, see how excited they are for the All-Star Game and maybe even have a special guest on the show, Mr. Wayne Coyne himself. But first, let's check out the music. You good? All right. Yeah. So we're having a good time, as you can tell. I'm Jackie Montgomery with MLSsoccer.com and Wayne Coyne from The Flaming Lips. All right. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Hi. And and, and I, you, it, it, we thought you needed to be a little bit more. I needed some flair. Yeah, I exactly. needed some flair. Yeah. So we have. I mean, I thought you looked great, but you seemed to be a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you have the flowers, you have the, the I know, stickers, but the reason I've the got the flowers shirt, now is so. like, I don't, I don't remember where the hotel is, and, and <laughs> I'm going to do this all the way until we play, and, yeah. I'm, and I, I'll, I wanted to wear these tonight, so I thought, well, I'll just put them on. There you go, you're ready. I like Normally, that. I wouldn't have the flowers, but now I, I feel like maybe I should. Yeah, but it's good. Yeah. It's a good look for you. <laughs> How exciting is it to have the All-Star Game and have all the focus here on this city and Soccer City USA, as some are saying? Uh, it's awesome. It's the best time of year here. We got Flaming Lips concert, uh, a lot of soccer fans. People are going to be pretty fired up, just like we are every weekend for the Timber. So I think it should be exciting for the league and for Bayern Munich to see what we have to offer. Uh, I'm very excited, very, very pumped. I uh, love the Timbers and I love Portland. First off, Jimmy, let's just talk about how bad our seats are for the Flaming Lips. How awesome is it? it this is amazing. The Flaming Lips are the best weird band of all time, and Portland prides himself on being weird, so we could argue it's a match made in heaven. Have you helped keep Portland weird? You know, it's the same. Well, you know, I don't think that you can, really. I think the moment <laughs> it embodies people... embodies it himself. <laughs> I mean, we, we're... You know, the same as the people will compare it to Austin, Texas, you know, yeah. which... But they stole that slogan. No, we're not supposed to know that. <laughs> When you're in Portland, yeah, I thought that was the thing you're supposed to say. No, we thought of this. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm saying Austin stole the slogan. I think it was Portland. here first. Exactly. It was here first, I believe. No. No? No. Okay. But, uh, but right. I don't really know. Holy cow. It's Fred Armisen. And we just ran like hell to catch him. <laughs> but Fred, you said you're old friends with the Flaming Lips. What's it like to kind of see them in this atmosphere here in Portland? If they're in their element. You know, this is their... That, a crowd that big is just like, that's where their home is. Are you a soccer fan at all? Yeah, I love it. Who's your team? The Timbers, come on. Oh, uh, okay. You gotta say that. I to, <laughs> believe me, I, I, that's the only team, you know, it's the only team in existence. So, well, soccer in America is focused on this event here in Portland. Right. So, are, are you a big soccer fan? Well, you and know. You I'm, can feel free to fit. Well, I don't mean, I don't mean that I'm, I, I mean, I'm not a sports fan fanatic uh -huh. but we started to travel to Europe and because we're in the flaming lips we get to travel all over the place and we became of this this you know this institution of mm -hmm. world soccer so you become kind of aware of soccer I think more in the world and I think in America now it's becoming another one of the of the sports mm -hmm. and I, I think we're seeing now it's it seems like it's gonna work See, I mean, people are coming off their World Cup high, and then we hit them again with the MLS all Oh, I see, I see. You see how see, I, Man, you, you're uh, getting kind of aggressive. I can see why you're drawing I get really worked up. I get really worked up over soccer, yeah. as you can tell. Man. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. When people are into something, it, mm -hmm. it kind of changes how interesting it is. So, yeah. Now that you're into it, I, maybe I'm kind of into okay. it. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm glad that we can have that connection. <laughs> I'm glad that we can have that connection. This city is in, insane about soccer. Salt Lake's okay, but this place is where it's at. I'm a real Salt Lake guy, but to watch a game there, see all the fans jumping and singing, it's really something else. Well, look, lady, I'm part of the soccer craziness, <laughs> right? I mean, I'm part of it. That's Wait, like, like you know, I'm part of the thing. I'm one of the things that you would do that's part of the soccer craziness, right? Uh huh. This is going to be pretty crazy, I think. Mm hmm Yeah? So yes, whether it's <laughs> the game itself or catching the flaming lips, just a I lot think of soccer the game, craziness. The game is just on. an excuse to party, right? <laughs> huh? Right? <laughs> now this is kind of kicking off the 2014 AT&T MLS All-Star Week. Kind of put into perspective. 
perspective how big of a deal this is? I think Portland's going to do a great job hosting this. Kansas City, I think, raised the bar for an all-star event last year. But something about Portland, I think they're going to try to take it to another level. We'll see if they can do it. The Flaming Lips are a good start, and having Bayern Munich as the opponent is a good way to finish. All right. Really appreciate it. Your, and your, your, your name for the interview today was Branch. Branch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're keeping it with like a very yeah. nature theme. And the today. guy behind the camera, this isn't just a machine working. No, it's a, it's a real camera. person back there. And he's he's embarrassed that I know his name. His name is Insect. And you're, <laughs> there you go. Not like well, soccer. it really works. Not like soccer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>